Lovely. Pop onto your mat with me. Uh, hamstrings to my guys. We just get ourselves a little bit warm. So make your way through 60 seconds of reverse lunges. Got me a new watch, so I'll get my stopwatch on. And I've been using it. I was going to say, have you programmed any of the runs or anything into it yet? Not at all. Oh, there's my stopwatch. You know me, tech. I'm not the best. It's easy. I'll tell you later. You'll have to show me, yeah. I've got the stopwatch on a shortcut. That's about as far as I've gotten. <laughs> so I know that's what I'll use a lot. Lovely, guys. Give me another 15 seconds. Keep moving so you get nice and warm. Get that heart rate up. Last 10. Perfect, guys. We're going to go straight into 30 seconds of forward leg swings on our right side. So just swing and try and get a little stretch in that hamstring in the front. Get the leg as high as you can. I'm not too fussed about the leg being too tight here. Kick that knee up as high as you can. Feel the stretch. Lovely guys, and turn on to the opposite leg. Nice. Another 10 seconds here. Super, guys. And then we're just going to do 10 reps, starting in the bottom of our tuck. Two bounces, you all know. This one, one, two, straight the knees, and one, two, pulses at the top. So just give you 10 reps here. This one's important that we lock out those knees at the top. Really nice tea, looking good. Good, we've got some fingers nearing the floor. Nice guys. All right, so if you have, you don't need it, but if you have a weight nearby and you want to use it, you can. We're just going to make our way through a minute of J curls. And um, so, as always, Imagine you're standing against a wall and I'm going to peel my neck or my chin to my chest and my shoulders roll forward. Let your arms hang freely in front. Keep your hips nice and your glutes tight here. Coming all the way down, you feel a lovely stretch in your upper back. And then as you pass your hips, turn your tailbone to the sky. Think of flattening the lower back and then you're going to reverse that all the way, shoulders and head are the last thing to come out. So we'll go anywhere from three to five reps, guys. Lovely. So imagine that wall, you want to avoid reaching your hips back here. You want that weight and that curl to go forward. Very nice, Jackie. And take about 10 seconds at the bottom, guys. Lovely. The arms are like jelly here. There should be no tension on them or pulling back on that weight if you have one. And you can mix up your bottom position with a soft bend in the knee, or you can keep your knees really locked out. We're going to go for another 30 seconds. Yummy J curls. Last 10 seconds. If you want to hang out at the bottom, you can. Yeah. 
Lovely, guys. All right, just come into a kneeling position on the floor. You have a choice here of just uh, kneeling on the floor with your feet pointed back. If you have a yoga block and you feel like you need an extra little bit of a stretch, you're just going to pop the, the top half of your foot, your toes and the top half of your foot on that block, and then sit back. Push your ankles together and then sit your bum back on top of them. So you get a nice stretch to the front of your ankle here. Right through that ankle crease. Now if you have no block and you want to get a little bit more stretch, you can pop your hand around the front of one knee and pick that knee up. And then to advance on that, you can place your hands by your side. And if you can see me here, lift both knees up. This is actually easier than it looks and you get a great stretch all the way down to the front of your feet. Are you keeping your toes face down, Jerry, Mama? What to say, Sonia? Sorry, do you keep your toes face down on the ground? Yes, your toes are pointed so the top of your foot is on the ground. And you pull those knees up. It does, it actually looks harder than it is. All right, guys, so we're just going to stay here for an additional 30 seconds. Well, some of you have been in it already. We're going to take those shoulders back. You can even lean back and you get a little bit more stretch. We'll just take some nice deep breaths here. Let the weight of your body sink through those ankles. 10 seconds. Beautiful guys. All right, so we're just going to readjust here and I'm going to tuck my toes so the ball of my foot is on the floor, the pads of my toes. Again, I want you to push your ankle bones together, sit back, and again, let the weight of the body come straight down on those heels, and we're here for 30. Nice deep breath. You can think of a shoulder roll here, roll the shoulders back and down. You got ear to shoulder. Fifteen seconds. Lovely back. And out to come. We're staying down on, our, on the mat, guys. And from here, I'm going to take one foot onto the floor. We're going to work into a little bit of ankle compression here. So, uh, pushing that other leg out of the way, getting as much knee compression as I can, to sink my hips down into the back of my calf. And then I'm going to use the weight of my body to lean down on my thigh. And I'm trying to close the angle between my shin and the top of my foot. There we go, 45 seconds here. You should feel this stretch, guys, into the back of the ankle, your Achilles, and maybe up the back of your calf. So for anyone doing lots of running at the moment, this would be a really nice stretch. It's kind of like a half Cossack squat, is it? It, it act, like this is actually the, so that's a great point, Sonia. Um, this is the position that you want to aim for, um, full knee compression, so your knee is as bent as it possibly can be. You guys take note that your hamstring is completely squashed into your calf, and that would be the finish of your process. Lovely, guys. So just make your way into the opposite ankle. And then any of these holes, guys, just check in with the breath. Think about sending that oxygen all the way down into your stretch. Exhale, relax into it. Lovely, guys. And 
and make your way out. So we're sitting on our mat for the next one. Uh, this guy is called the fire log stretch. We did it two weeks ago again. So it's a little bit more hip focused, but if you do have something to raise your hips and you're tight with your external hip uh, rotation, I recommend, I have two yoga blocks here that I'm just gonna pop myself up on. Now we'll give you an option here if this one's too much. So I'm sitting at the back side of my yoga mat and I'm gonna use the edge of my yoga mat to keep my shin nice and parallel. So my knee and my ankle are in a straight line. Once I have one knee bent, I'm going to prop that on the leg, ankle on top of knee. And the idea here is, of course, to get both legs nearly rested on top of each other like fire logs. This is not what's happening on my screen, but it's a start and I can really feel it in both my hips. All right. If this is not feeling good for you today, guys, if you just can't hit that position, you can just sit yourself on the floor cross one ankle over your knee, push that knee down, and you're gonna lift that bent knee up. And again, you just be targeting one hip, but you're still getting that same external rotation. Does everyone have one or the other that they can do? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Actually, I'm gonna just go to one yoga block, I think. Should be okay. So just important is when you look forward at your legs, you should have a straight line between your knee and your ankle. See where foot is not tucked in towards your hips. All right, guys, so we're going to be here for a minute. I'm just going to have a quick peek at you guys. Beautiful. And if you can, guys, lovely T. So again, T, your, your right ankle, just pull it forward for me a little bit. Very nice. Lovely Jackie and Warren, great external hip rotation there. Super. So Jenny, do you see how your foot is kind of inside your knee? I want you to pull it right up. Yep, yeah, right up onto your knee, all the way up. There we go. Even more. Yeah, and bring your left foot forward a little bit. Yes, lovely. So it should, they should really look perfectly stacked. No, the difference is when we cross our legs, our heels tuck under to our hips. I want you to keep them out so that your knee and, ankle, and ankles look like this. Lovely, guys. 15 more seconds on this side. So, T, just a little bit. When you're doing that one, you guys pull and squat the back. You can pick, bend up that bottom leg so you really get that uh, hip external rotation. There you go, lovely. All right, guys, so we're gonna make our way, bringing our other leg on top. Yeah, keep pulling that leg up, Jenny. Very nice, Anna. No hip issues there with you. Lovely, Dawn and T. Sonia, you look just like me in this one. <laughs> and, so remember, it's not, I'm going to cross legs because if I cross my legs, you can see my knees fall right down. If you don't want to tuck that ankle towards you, you want to keep it out in front and then bring that other leg up on top. It's a lot more challenging. And some nice deep breaths, guys. Your leg, the weight of your leg, fall down on top of each other. And um, guys, does everybody have a wall or a couch? Um, for our next stretch, which is going to be a couch little complex. Couch stretch. Yeah. Yeah. The side of a couch or a wall will work for that. 
All right, you guys, and you can let yourselves fall out of that. So, as you guys get set up, I think you're all familiar with this one. If you have two little supports for your hands, it just gives you an extra little bit of comfort, so you can go ahead and get those set up. And then we'll get into this one together, starting with your feet against the wall or the couch. Take, to it, lift the block. Uh, take one shin up against the wall, getting your knee as close to the bottom of the wall as you can. If that feels too intense, you can leave a little bit of space. And then we take that other foot out into a forward lunge position. The first one we're going to work on is our hip flexor, guys. So you're going to lift that chest, push back against the wall, and you should really feel it in the front of your quads. A big, big stretch here. All right, guys, we're going to hold this for 60 seconds. And breathe. Lovely guys, 30 to go. If you're feeling good here now, maybe you can lift your shoulders back a little bit more. Press into the wall by pushing away with your front foot. Feel that heat build in your quads, 10 seconds. We're gonna stay working on this side, we're just gonna change the stretch. So have a quick look at me, I'm going to bring my hand supports forward. I'm going to creep my front foot out a little bit and then I'm going to let those hips fall forward and down. So again, I'm coming over to the groin area, you still feel it in your hip flexor. Lovely guys, I'm here again for 60. We're going to do a couple of heel pulls here. Now this is even more difficult than when we do it off the wall. I'm just going to ask you to see if you can pull your foot off the wall, pull your heel towards your glutes for 10 reps. This is really activating that hamstring. Just be mindful, guys, you can easily cramp in your hamstring here. So if you feel a cramp coming on, just relax. And over 10, you can see I'm probably only getting a centimeter off the wall with my foot. I can feel my hamstring almost coming into a cramp, so I'm going to relax and just hold here for another 10 seconds. We have one more stretch, guys, on this side. So if you can just have a look at me, I'm going to use my hand support. I'm going to straighten that front leg as much as I can. I don't mind how much you have to lift your chest, but I want that front foot locked out, toe pointed. If I can, I might slide a bit more forward. I'm just going to lean into that stretch and get a really nice hamstring stretch. And no matter where you are, just find a stretch in the back of the knee. Very intense. And breathe through. 45 seconds to go. Squeeze your quad, guys. Squeeze your kneecap. Point your toe. And if it feels good and you're feeling courageous, maybe that front heel slides forward a bit. Ooh. Ten more seconds. Lovely guys, when you're ready, just bend that knee, take me back to the wall. Woo! I'm still nearly my cramping will be there. Alright, just take a little sit and we make our way into the opposite side. Did everyone do okay there? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so starting with our opposite leg against the wall. Bring that front other foot forward. We're coming into our hip flexor stretch. 
pushing her hips, shoulders back toward the wall. Here we go for 60 seconds. And breathe. Last 10, and then we're going to take that front foot forward and then our hips to drop forward and down. In three, two, one. So just take a little step forward and then let those hips ease into that stretch. Jenny, you see your foot is tucked on your knee, so take that foot right out in front. Even more. There you go, yeah. So when I look down at my front shin, it's actually at a little angle. My ankle is in front of my knee. Right, guys, if it's feeling good here, you might go for a little heel lift. This is really difficult for me on this side. I don't feel like my foot is even making any distance from the wall, but I still have the idea that I'm working on that hamstring. Okay, and I'm going to relax now to begin my hamstring really lining up. We've got 15 seconds. All right, and our last one here, guys. I'm going to straighten that front leg. Maybe I can take my heel out a little bit more. Point the toe, squeeze the quad. For me right now, my left quad must be really tight because I'm really feeling it. Oh my, I was going to ask you, is that normal? <laughs> yeah, so like it's even really taking over. Because it's taking over from my hamstring, I'm going to pull my toe towards me. So I'm going to lift my toe back towards my shin and that brings a little bit more focus back to my hamstring. But my left quad is extremely tight on this side for whatever reason. Twenty seconds. We're not quite finished. We have one more finishing stretch. The reason we're all here, getting into our front splits. Just kidding. We're just here to stretch our hamstrings. <laughs> all right, guys. So when you're ready, take yourself out of that. Woo! You see that hamstring. All righty. So we've done this one the last, I think every, every time we finish with this. So I'm gonna get comfortable under my back knee, maybe put a blanket or a pillow. And then guys, a sock or something that's going to slide forward on your wooden floor or carpet. So I'm starting in my half lunge. I'm gonna lock out that front knee. Use your supports if you need. And I'm letting that foot slide out as far as I can. Maybe take a little second here. And then dragging myself up by pressing my heel into the ground. So I'm really trying to return to my start position with my leg. All right, with that front leg pressing down to the ground. I'm going to do five on each leg. See how far you can let that leg slide forward. I know we talked about hip position last week. If it twists a little bit, that's absolutely fine. So how are we doing? Time, perfect. So once you've done five reps on one leg, you can make your way to the other, and that would be awesome for tonight. Megan, as you joined class there, you just get down and do the split there. Say again, Sonia. <laughs> Hello, Megan. She joined class early, so she has to get down with the splits. <laughs> Come on, Megan. Oh, you're so good, Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Megan. Come 
Lovely, guys. And let that foot go there. Slide it out as much as you can. Nice, Jenny. Lock out that front knee. Very important, guys, that you keep that front knee really locked tight. Good pull back, uh, Jackie. Okay, drive that heel down, Donald, to return to the start position. Really work it, work it, work it. So don't try, once you get nearly halfway, try and take your hands off your support so that you're coming back to an upright position. Yes, Donna, there you go. So that's really gonna make that hamstring work. So you're working on your active flexibility. Lock out that knee, Warren, there you go. Lock it out from the very start of the movement. Good, and then pull, lift your hands up. Very nice, Warren. Lovely, Sonia. And let those hips twist. Just see how far you can get with that heel. Not very far. <laughs> It's a great one, and honestly, guys, by checking in with your hamstrings once a week, beautiful, Jenny. I'll have to give a prize for the first person to hit the splits. Jenny's close. She Very is close. close. <laughs> <laughs> so close. And Jackie. Oh, Jackie's very close, yeah. Yeah. Split off. <laughs> I'm definitely not winning this competition. Oh, me neither. I'll never get the splits. 